After receiving three proposals to renovate Simon Sanchez High School and patch up the rest of the schools, Guam Department of Education Superintendent John Fernandez says they will now begin evaluations this week. After almost two years, the $100 million request for proposal is about halfway done. Two weeks ago, DBW received three offers from the Guam Educational Facilities Foundation, Pernix Guam, and Cortec International. Fernandez is the chair of the Evaluation Committee, which also includes leadership from the Department of Public Works, Department of Land Management, Guam Environmental Protection Agency, and the Guam Economic Development Authority. According to a release from the governor's office, DPW, the lead agency in this RFP, has recommended the committee make a decision within 20 days of the final submissions. Uh, the RFP itself set forth the requirements and uh, the rating system, the evaluation system already. So uh, using, that, uh, cri using those criteria, we'll be able to go and, and evaluate and rank uh, the, the uh, bids as they've come in. So that process will commence this week. Depending on the level of uh, discussion and work that will be entailed, uh, once we open the bids, we'll know. Um, you know how long it'll take us. So we're going to again start it. We'll start. We hope to get it done quickly. But again, it'll just depend on any questions that come up and any um, uh, the time that's needed to really do a thorough review of, of all the submissions. Fernandez says once they're done evaluating the proposals, they pass the RFP back to DPW, where they will then work with the selected offer, negotiate, and finalize the agreement. About a month ago, at an oversight hearing for GDOE, DPW told lawmakers that the renovations for Simon Sanchez High School, at the best case scenario, would begin in December of 2016.